Hey everyone, uh, I'm back I guess. Um, I've been back from college uh, since a, m a month ago I finished college and uh, I've been trying to recuperate the amount of sleep I've been getting. Uh, I've been having a physics class that I have to take so I don't really still have time to make videos or even have free time in general. So, But I thought since I have Friday off I decided to make a video and uh, since I have a competition coming up in, I think it's in Athens at UG, I don't know the competition name, I just kind of signed up for it. Um, that I would just make a main speed cues video. I haven't made one of these in a while, so um, I'm a bit rusty on video, so bear with me. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, so, I guess we'll start off with 3x3. Three three. So I have really two um, right here. So these are just two of them. This is the 356 that Daniel gave me. Uh, it's pretty good. It used to be really bad. Actually, it, it was pretty bad. It was really bad, actually. Uh, and I modded it, and it's amazing. So... I use it from time to time. I actually like this one a lot. It's just that it has this weird bump feeling that I kind of don't like about it. But if that was eliminated, this cube would be perfect, pretty much. Um, I also use this cube. I use the GT. I don't really like this cube that much, but it gets me good times. So, I mean, what else can you ask for? Yeah, I really don't like the feel of this cube. It just, I don't know, it gets me good times. So, that's nice. Uh, one thing I, I one thing I don't like about it is just that it's really um, when you turn it, it feels really like cubic. So it doesn't f the flow for for my style doesn't seem to fit on this cube. So when I turn it, it sometimes get locks up lock ups and uh, the little extension of the corners uh, doesn't really help with corner twists. I still get them pretty often on this cube at least. I don't know about any other cubes. Eh, got a little bit of gunk on this sticker, but whatever. But yeah. Uh, Along GT and the Gans 356, not the retooled or re rehashed one. So yeah, those are the 3x2s. So for 4x4, four four, uh, I still use the Yuxin or Yuxin. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't like using Alsu. I have one. I have an Alsu. I have a Waisu. If I had to choose between the two, I'd pick my Waisu over the Alsu. I don't really like it. So yeah. If I choose between the two, this one's my favorite though. Um, I modded it because the wing edges were very sharp, so that's what caused the popping and lockups for me. And since I did that, I really haven't had that much problems with it. So yeah, it's pretty good cube. Smooth, has slight sandy kind of feel still, even after tons of solves. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the only one that still has the original stickers on theirs. So I don't really replace stickers, so yeah. Does parity pretty well. Yeah, this one parity pretty well, so I like it. Oh, so for five by five, I use the uh, Yushin. Um, so I, my personal initial impressions of this was really good. I really liked. It. I still like it a lot. Um, but I tried a a Botrong or. I don't know how, a uh, Huachong or a Botrong, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, I tried one of those, and those were, those were amazing. It was, it, it was awesome. I don't know, I only got to try it for one solve, but it was awesome. I loved it. It was, it was probably the best solve I've ever felt. Even past this, so I was like, wow. Maybe if I played with it um, a little more, or had a little bit more experience with it, if I even had it myself, then I would be able to judge, I guess, a little bit more uh, clearly, but... I didn't have it, so I only had it for one solve, so yeah. But with the first impressions of those, those were it was an amazing five x five. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, this five x five, it, I like it still. It's still viable. Like I don't think if I switch from a Botrong to this, I would get better times, but I just like it. Um, so yeah, the outer layers on this five x five is really nice. I really like the outer layers. Um, the inner layers, I feel like, could use a bit of work. I haven't done too many solves on this. Yeah, I'm not pro at any big cubes. So yeah, that's the Houston 5x5. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, so main square one, I'm skipping 6x6 six and, six, six by six and 7x7 because... They've been the same constant since I think two years ago, and plus, uh, I really don't do six by six or seven by seven anymore, so I don't have time for it. Uh, so 
first square one I used the uh, QIYI or whatever it's called. Chi E square one, I think. I think that's what's called. I don't know. But it's cool looking. Or is it the Mofeng G E? Yeah, whatever. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah. It's a good square one. Definitely the best on the market, I think. Um, I think everyone uses this one. Or maybe they use the Chi E. I don't know. Not. I'm not into the community that much anymore. I kind of uh, dropped off the face of the planet for a while. But yeah, <clears throat> it's a good square one, definitely. Uh, uh, it turns really well. It doesn't really... It For me, it kind of locks up because I haven't really lubricated this in a long time. I just... It's kind of dry a little bit, so I probably just need to re-lube it. But when I did lube it, it was really, really good. And I, I modded it by gluing those two centers together or something like that. One of the videos I watched, they just glue the center together, and it's prevented, um, when you push this, it'll just lock up. Yeah, it's hard to explain. I think uh, some people have it on their videos, but, um, it's where this edge will, like, pop up and it'll lock up. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the square one. Pretty good. I like it. So, for one-handed, I still use this beaten old 50 millimeter. Um, it's... I really like it. Uh, I have the Cubologist logo on here, so shout outs to him. Uh, yeah, it's. I still like it. It's still pretty good, even after I think two years. So, yeah, really, all I've been doing is one-handed. So if I do any like two-handed solves, it's gonna be really bad, or it's gonna be equivalent to my one-handed solve. So, all I've been really doing is one-handed really lately. Eh, yeah, that. So yeah, it's pretty good. One thing I just like about it is mainly the size and the feel of it. The feel, I feel like, has been worn down to the feel that I like. And as well as the... Just the size in general, it just fits my hands very well. If I try to go to, let's say, uh, the scans. Um, one, I don't like the feel of it one-handed. I like the feel of it two-handed, but one-handed feels kind of funny. I can't really... It's hard to explain, like, I can, like, in this video you can see I can, I can turn it pretty well, but when I do an actual solve, it's very, uh, like, blocky looking, like, it's very bad, let's just say. <laughs> so yeah, and this one I can kind of flow very well. That's a little blurry. Eh, focus. Yeah, yeah, it, it flows very well, I really like this. I probably need to re-lube it and re-sticker it because I don't think that's competition legal. Oh uh, yeah, I've had these stickers on for a while. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, this is a... Uh, oops. This is the 50 millimeters and sheets. Pretty good still. Uh, it is a little loose. I may tighten it a little bit, but I don't like messing with the tensions on this cube because last time I did, I, I couldn't get it back to normal. So it took me a while. But So yeah, it's it's pretty good. I like it. I love, I actually love this cube. <laughs> so yeah, um, those are all my cubes. Uh, 50 millimeter Zanchi Yusun 4x4, uh, Mofeng GE Square One, the Yusun 5x5, the what is this? The oh, Gans 356, non retooled. I modded it, and the Along GT. See so yeah, you guys, those are all the events I really do. I don't really do anything else. Um, I don't, yeah, I really don't do anything else. So yeah, all right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.